welcome everyone the topic that we are going to deal is amplitude modulation in matlab using simulink the first question that arises in every mind is why we go in for modulation for better understanding i would like to quote an example we know already the antenna height is equal to quarter its wavelength we know that the wavelength is nothing but c divided by f where c is the velocity of light and f is the frequency now let's consider or assume our f to be 10 kilohertz so therefore the minimum antenna height that we require would be 7.5 kilometers which is really unimaginable and suppose if we increase the frequency say f to 10 megahertz now what happens to the antenna height it's just 75 meters and it can be imaginable so what we do here is our wavelength is inversely proportional to the frequency which means as our frequency increases the antenna height automatically reduces so that is a main objective that we go in for modulation now the modulation are categorized into different types we have analog modulation and digital modulation under analog modulation we have this technique called amplitude modulation now for an example you consider the voice signal to be the message signal its frequency lies between 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz now think that i'm teaching a class of 60 with this audio frequency and all would be able to clearly hear what i'm speaking but if i wish to handle a class of 200 in an auditorium my voice need to be amplified there comes modulation into picture so what would i do i increase the frequency and then i transmit it so i require maybe i call it to be a mic i require a mic and on other on the other side the receiver receives it demodulates it and gives me back the original signal so modulation is very much essential in everyday life so now when we consider amplitude modulation so we have a message signal this is my message signal now what is the concept that we learned already is we need to increase the frequency so i am going in for a high frequency signal which is called as a carrier signal so my modulating signal which is the message signal is going to be low frequency and this is going to be carrier frequency is going to be high frequency and now what do i do i impinge both the signals so that i get my modulated signal and the envelope that is seen outside is nothing but my message signal and whatever is seen inside is going to be the carrier signal now what is amplitude modulation <coughs> amplitude modulation is some characteristics or the amplitude of the carrier signal is varied in accordance with the amplitude of the message signal this is amplitude modulation now while we, how do we do it in simulink so we have an oscillator which automatically generates a signal so which is a high frequency signal which is designed by the designer and this is a, going to be my message signal what do i do i multiply them both to get my modulated signal and now over to matlab and open your matlab and open the simulink library now here comes the simulink library now how many how many signals do i require for uh, amplitude modulation i actually require two so now what do i do in the simulink library browser i am going to click new model i am opening a new model and from here i am going to take from the source so from the sources i am going to pick up two signal generators drag it drop it here and i want another carrier signal drag it and drop it here and i require a constant signal now to the message signal i have two different types of modulation amplitude modulation technique one is amplitude modulation with carrier and amplitude modulation that is double sideband suppressed carrier that is without carrier so i require a constant signal now what do i do i go in with <coughs> my math operations i take an adder i put it up here and i add these both signals 
and now what is my task i need to multiply my message signal and carrier signal so this is going to be my message signal this is going to be my carrier signal now what do i do i multiply both so i take a product block here i drag it and drop it here i am going to multiply these both and now i need to see my output so for that you can go into sinks and you can go into see the scope drag it click it here so now i can see my output through scope now if i want to view my message signal i can use another scope over here so that i can view also my message signal now if i want uh, uh, to view my carrier signal i can even drag my scope for my carrier signal to view it now double click on the signal generator that is going to be my message signal i set it as one amplitude to be one and frequency to be one hertz and now keep my constant maybe to say if we keep it to two let's see what happens <clears throat> and this is going to be my carrier signal so i set my frequency to be 10 hertz because it is a high frequency signal now save your model i am going to save my model maybe in a comfortable place and now i am going to run it and now let me see what happens to my let me set my sample time to be point not one and now let me save it and now see my amplitude modulated signal and this is called as a double sideband suppressed carrier wherein you cannot find any carrier signal over this point and now if i want my carrier signal to be present at this location what do i do now i have to and now i am changing my constant and now if i change my constant value i can observe a different waveform and this waveform is a double sideband full carrier signal and this is what we observe in the screen wherein you can find the envelope of the message signal to be present there and the carrier signal to be present inside the modulated signal and this is an amplitude modulated signal and what you observe now is a message signal and now this is going to be your carrier signal which is a high frequency signal and this is the overall block and this is your amplitude modulated signal thank you for patient listening